For the first time in International Space Station history, NASA is bringing a crew home early due to a medical situation on board. I'm Zach, and this is a TLP Breaking News Update. NASA has confirmed it will bring home SpaceX Crew-11 earlier than planned following an unspecified medical concern involving one crew member that arose Wednesday afternoon on board the International Space Station. The health and the well-being of our astronauts is always and will be our highest priority. Yesterday, January 7th, a single crew member on board the station experienced a medical situation and is now stable. NASA says the affected astronaut is absolutely stable, but that a complete medical evaluation cannot be performed in orbit, prompting the decision to bring the crew home. And as many of you know, we have a very robust suite of medical hardware on board the International Space Station, but we don't have the complete amount of hardware that I would have in the emergency department, for example, to complete a workup of a patient. And in this particular incident, that the, uh, the medical incident was, was sufficient enough that we were uh, concerned about the astronaut, that we would like to complete that workup. And the best way to complete that workup is on the ground, uh, with where we have the full suite of uh, medical testing hardware. NASA emphasized that this situation is not related to space station's environment and that it is not an emergency evacuation. Now again, because the astronaut is absolutely stable, this is not an emergent uh, evacuation. We're not a, uh, immediately em disembarking and, and getting the astronaut down. But it leaves that lingering risk and lingering question as to what that diagnosis is. And that means there's some lingering risk for that astronaut on board. Dr. Polk clearly stating, this is not an emergent evacuation. The situation has already had an immediate operational impact. NASA had indefinitely postponed the first spacewalk of 2026, originally scheduled for Thursday. That spacewalk, U.S. Spacewalk 94, would have seen Mike Fink and Zena Cardman conduct a six-and-a-half-hour EVA to prepare the 2A power channel for future IROSA solar ray installations, which are critical to extending the station's power capabilities ahead of its eventual deorbit. NASA confirmed the medical issue is not related to EVA preparations, including the pre-breathe procedures. As a precaution, NASA also took ISS's live feeds offline shortly after an audio from Space to Ground Loop captured JAXA astronaut Kimya Yui requesting a private medical conference. Crew 11 will now return together aboard SpaceX's Crew Dragon Endeavor, with splashdown and recovery expected in the coming days. This allows NASA to plan a nominal return and splashdown path rather than an immediate undocking and emergency return. NASA Administrator Jared Isaacman confirmed the situation does not require an immediate emergency return, giving mission managers time to select a safest return opportunity based on orbit, inclination, and recovery conditions. This is highly unusual and a historic development for the ISS. So for over 60 years, NASA has set the standard for safety and security in crewed space flight. In these endeavors, including the 25 years of continuous human presence on board the International Space Station, the health and the well-being of our astronauts is always and will be our highest priority. In the 25-year history of the International Space Station, NASA has never before ended an entire crew rotation early due to a medical condition. While spacewalks have been postponed or daily operations delayed, including a spacesuit issue in 2024 and a pinched nerve in 2021, this is the first time a full crew return has ever been ordered due to a medical reason. Crew 11 arrived at the ISS on August 2nd, 2025. The mission was originally planned to last six to eight months with returns scheduled for late February 2026 following the arrival of Crew-12 previously no earlier than February 15th. NASA says it's now actively evaluating options to accelerate Crew-12's launch, working with SpaceX and international partners to reduce the time station operates with a smaller crew. Until then, the ISS will continue operations with the remaining Expedition 74 crew, a configuration NASA has decades of experience operating safely. NASA expects to announce a target return date for Crew-11 in the coming days, with an updated mission timeline in the next 48 hours. As always, astronaut health and safety remains NASA's top priority. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest space news and live coverage and join us next week for special coverage of Crew 11's return to Earth. As always, I'm Zach, and you're watching The Launchpad because space is better together.